Okay. Does anyone have any amendment to the agenda? Okay. How about proofs of the floor on anything that's on the agenda? All right. Uh, Dennis, you want to go through these uh, the, for the public. Uh, the first three items are going to be dealing with the Heritage State. And uh, this is a uh, culmination of many weeks of uh, wordsmithing and thinking and uh, all that. So, yeah, before I do, I think uh, Mr. Walker has a document that he wants to submit to you, just informationally speaking. Okay. Yes, I uh, saw uh, Jerry's article online this morning, and I guess there was some question as to ownership of the project. So I just put together a summary for you. Oh, really? Good. It. I thought it would be helpful. Everything just states it's just the name of the yeah. development. So. Yeah. And it's, it really is New York Correct. Correct. LLC. Correct. And the New Jersey address is Roger's address. Right. The 14 Catherine Court address is my address. Right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I, I figured this out during the week or just Thank Monday. Thank you, sir. Um, But thank you for yeah, that. I thought it was probably straightforward, but yep. I just in case there was any. Sure. And then just to give you an overview okay. of what you're going to do, all of which the details are in front of you, you could each have complete copies. Uh, there's three resolutions. Uh, the first resolution you'll be acting on will be uh, uh, approval of the format, acceptance, if you will, of the developer's agreement and authorization to the supervisor to sign them. Right. In connection with that, there's also a document entitled uh, in regards to the right-of-way abandonment uh, by New York Farms LLC, which involves a bridle path issue so that we can take it into park lane eventually and avoid it ever becoming a tool. Now, is that going to be a second? No, it'll be part of the one. Part of the first one, okay. Uh, the second motion will then, uh, again, those documents will be signed, I assume, by Mr. Walker this evening before you approve those resolutions. Unless they have executed, if you will. Okay. Uh, you're not really in the status to uh, prove them. Uh, the second set of documents, which is the rest of that package, refers to the fact that you are going to accept, uh, I'm sorry, approve the format of all those documents as submitted by Heritage uh, Estates, which includes the open uh, space parcel A, the irrevocable offer of dedication, five bargain sale deeds, three permanent easements. Uh, and authorizing you, Doug, if you will, as supervisor, to sign those documents on behalf of the town, which documents are all going to be held in escrow until such time as we're ready to, by formal resolution, accept that. I mean, a simple example is a road. We don't take them over until they're finished right. and they're engineeringly signed off on, if you will. So, but we're going we're, we're gonna to front end the documents so that we don't have to chase them later on, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, It'll be easier on the town and also be much cheaper for the applicant because it won't be recurring. Uh, Question. Uh, Can anything, could anything take place between now and whenever because some of the stuff is still in front of the planning board that might alter any yeah. of those agreements? Um, not that I can foresee, but if they did, they'd have to come back again. I know it's great. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. A lot of these is going to be happening as we go. Yeah, we go yeah. but pretty okay. much. Uh, they are, I, I can't speak for the applicant, but they're, they're substantially complete. I think they've got probably a few issues yet. Yeah, you couldn't get the map signed tomorrow morning. No, no we have to. The, the main issue is we've got to go back to the Orange County Health Department with the new water. Yeah, right. And then the third resolution is the actual resolution approving the extension of the districts pursuant to town law. So if you follow, just logically speaking, Mr. Walker is the principal of uh, uh, a managing partner of the LLC would sign off on the developer's agreement, the, the abandonment. We approve those. Right. You are authorized to sign them. Mm -hmm. The others, as he knows, have been submitted by their professionals and reviewed, modified, or corrected, if you will, or accepted by us. And they'll just be held. All you do is approve the format. Right. And uh, they'll be held by us until such time as it's uh, timely, if you will, to uh, accept those by formal resolution. And the last item. Once those things are all done, then by definition you're ready to expand the district. So I don't think you'd want to expand the district without those things being done. Yeah, do we have the, uh, I, I still have not seen the resolution from the village. No. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I, I have it. Uh, I don't have it as we speak. Okay. Yeah, but it exists. It exists, right. and it's just as we... Correct, just as we had 
uh, yeah. concerned, if you will, because we, all those months we had no, no expression yeah. from that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, if, yeah, if necessary, I could probably get the bill attorney on the phone if we have any questions, uh, only because I don't have it with me. As long as you saw it and you're satisfied, yeah. we're, we're good to go. Correct. Yes. But, uh, I'm, I'm still a little confused. Maybe you can help me out yep. so I understand this directly. I do see is um, the New York Farms, is Heritage a wholly owned subsidiary of New York Farms? Is that a separate it's Heritage entity? Estate? Heritage Estate is just the name of the project. That's not an entity. It's just what we called the project. Heritage Estates is the name. Well, that's okay. But how about Heritage at Goshen Heritage LLC? Heritage at Goshen is a separate LLC. has no interest in the land at all. That was just a, pro a company that I have that processed the approvals for the company, which was started before we owned it. So it has no interest in the land itself. Okay. Only New York Farms LLC has interest in the, in the land. Well, when they file it at the county clerks, they're going to file it under the Heritage? And it would be and not LLC. It filed under New York Farms LLC. Okay. And the name of the project, I mean, the, the name, it's just a name. I understand. No. I told you. You told me what? No, I understand. Okay. So it's a similar format or procedure, but it's a different section of the town law. And so what this resolution recites is that pursuant to that, uh, we uh, had public hearing. Well, again, the, the preamble is the whereas that uh, we back in '59 the original districts were created. We're presently considering an expansion. Uh, whereas back in 2007 we were filed with the, uh, the town board engineering reports. So remember that was Peter's Act and Sal's report setting forth the effect and uh, physical and otherwise of the expansion or the creation or expansion of the district, which was again embellished later. Uh, has been supplemented. Uh, the maximum amount to be expended by the town to affect this is zero because the applicant's paying all the costs. Right. Uh, we had a public hearing on May 8, 18. Uh, there's a typo. It's 2011. 2011. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and we also, uh, pursuant to an order or resolution we adopted on, in, on February 11 of 2011. And then we also reaffirmed all of the reports, activities, and actions of the planning board, which as you remember acted as the lead agency for seeker purposes, both with regards to the subdivision application, which part of which was sewer what? All right, so we're reaffirming that. And then the motion to uh, approve, if you will, is set forth and it basically recites those delineated items that one, uh, was called for a public hearing which was published and posted, that's the previous one we talked about, uh, back in 2011. All the property owners uh, are benefited thereby a finding. Uh, three, all the properties are benefited by the extension, including the properties and, and residents, if you will, future coming within the limits of the extensions. Four, the extension of the district is proposed in the public interest. Five, uh, this is subject to a permissive referendum. That's by state law. Uh, I can give you details on that if you're interested. But this is effective 30 days from adoption of the resolution. Right. Okay. Uh, if a hundred or five percent of the landowners in the affected expanded area object, they can file a petition, and you can you have a vote. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, which, if you follow, there are no affected, disaffected, or otherwise members in the district expanded, other than guess who? Okay. You know, like okay. to me a year or two ago, John McCary wrote all the town supervisors a letter. Something about, and I, that's really vague in my mind, that all of this had to be approved by the county real property tax office. Yeah, that's that's notification on uh, you know, referrals to their planning. Not so much the tax office; they're going to want to make sure taxes are paid on any transfers, etc. Okay. Even you could probably speak to that. I I don't know what I mean. Again, I'm really digging down deep. Yeah. There was something from McCary though that the county. Yeah, what well, he's really probably getting at is this. Any subdivision, okay, can't be filed unless all yeah. the taxes on the property are paid current. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and believe me, that's what it is. Okay, And okay. so that's probably what he's referring to, because it obviously involves a subdivision, 
which eventually is going to be signed off and approved by the planning board. Okay. And I'm sure as you fellows know, you can't record it or file it with the county clerk's office unless there's evidence of or the record reflects its current. Does this had something to do with creation of a water or a sewer district required their rubber stamp, their approval. And this is really it, with an expansion. Is that creating a new water and sewer district? No, it's oh, not. Uh, okay. uh, he may, he may, they may be worried about affected properties and taxation, but once again, know. my earlier comment, again, okay. the applicant, there was nobody there. Very good. All right, well, that's uh, good. And then it goes on to recite, again, a permissive referendum uh, is subject to, if, if none is petitioned for within 30 days of the final. And uh, we have to, again, we, I'll work this out with the clerk's office. We have to post, we have to publish, and we have to also record it in the county clerk's office. Very there is good. no reference to the state controller's office or the state level because there's no monies expended by right. the taxpayers. Right. All right. Okay, would someone like to make a motion regarding this resolution? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Uh, yeah, go, go for it, Jerry. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, uh, well, first of all, my there's a typo on the second page. The second right. line says, uh, their success is at no cost to the town or it should be. Yep. Possible. Instead of the just, yeah, or. Yep, not a problem. Now, the second thing that was confusing to me, and I'm referencing, I guess, what the uh, written associate has here, maybe I'm just reading this wrong. But when you look at the needs and bounds, uh, it looks as if a part of the sewer district is taken out. 6.22 acres. Yeah, it is. I was under the I was under the impression that the water and the sewer district were exactly the same. It is, Steve. It, 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 in other words, just I'm just going to recite what it was saying. I think I see what the error is already. Uh, this description, as originally prepared, if you remember, was prepared for the creation. Of a new district, all right? If you look right. at the heading on it on the first page, it right. refers to legal description for the sewer district. Right. Yeah, that was my other question. Should there should be, water, it, it should be sewer and water. water slash sewer. Correct. That and the, and the reference in that paragraph to said sewer should be said sewer and water district because it, they are coterminous. Yeah, they're identical. And the only thing that's excluded is that portion, I think it's of the cult property, on which there are homes, privacy, oh, right. and residences. Right. Four are already there. I think you have two on the lot. Right. right. Yeah, and that's, then, that's more than 6.22 acres. Oh, yeah. A lot more than that, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, and, and then when I looked at the maps, the maps look exactly the same. I guess these really are correct. Water, sewer districts. Yes, they should be exactly correct. The same. Yeah. So, I think possibly that it meets some bounds in this particular one at all. Is that on the description of the district, George? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, let me just show it to you, Steve, and maybe you can decipher that aspect. Yeah, it, it's typos otherwise in those captions. Let me just put those in here. See, this is the description you guys got over to my office for the entire district. Right? And, you know, it's a lot of plot, it's 154 acres. Let's put those in a second. You can see it's 154 acres, and then it excludes. So, yeah, it could be, I think, just possibly 60 acres. So I, I can't tell you on that, whether that's accurate or not. This is what, what George is pointing out. He thinks that that's probably more than six acres. No, and that's referring to the whole point. There's this, the, I don't know if you guys got this map, which is expensive. Yeah, yeah we, we got it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, so, so the district really is 154. Right. Okay? The balance is, you know, maybe around 100, a little less than 100. Right. Right. The 6.4 is, is there's, there's a lot, this lot right here. Oh, yeah, where it's excluded. That's where the where homesteads are because it's not included in, in the, the heritage. That's the cold. Yeah, that's the cold. There's like the four houses. There's three or four houses in a row right there. So the district area is about 148 acres. Right. 148, okay. 
So then would you think that the 154 is correct? Yes. Right? I think the 154 yes. 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 is correct. So then really the only, well, yes. yeah. then, the, then the second page is correct as you stated, except for the fact that on the other page it has to be water slash zero. Yeah, and, and right. I think in fairness, uh, the second page after the 154 recitation, right. it says sewer and water districts, because they both exclude that same lot. Right. Paul? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the rest are included in the district. The rest of the gray areas included in the district. No, that's what I. It, it's uh, the lots mm -hmm. excluded. These, these gray areas. What? What? That's, like, that's is this the, all in the district? That's out. No, right. that's, that's that's the. That's, that's the. It's 154 total. 254 total. Right. Right. That's that's kind of all water. Yeah. The 154 is the white area mm -hmm. plus right. the excluded gray area lot. Right. The other oh. gray area lots yeah. have not, nothing to do with this transaction or, or project. They have additional land. Right. They're part of the project. They're yeah. outside of the district. district. The yeah. district is the 75 lots. In yeah, these are the six uh, single lot. Well, there's only three. two. There's two. There's there's the there's four, what we just density wise. There's four existing houses of the cult. Right. 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 Then there's two uh, proposed estate lots. Right. Oh, and one of those is really the big <coughs> lot that has all the, that right. the ag easement and really the farm. Right. right. Uh, but they're not going to be in the warrants. None of them, that's all of that is in the gray area. Right. So and then this is that's the open that's space the, area. The op this is the open space area A, and then the, the cluster, and then open space area. B. So right. my my question was going to be: if the whole gray area is excluded, why are they also? Uh, referring to that six acres. If that's part of the exclusion, why are they treating that differently than the rest of the exclusion? I mean, it's like, this is out and this is out, but right. this, is but part of yeah. this is out too. Yeah. What does that mean? I, I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe it, 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 it may have been in your legal description. Confused. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think it's part of right. the transfer. What was that? It's not part of the You're not transferring. Right. But that's a good point. It's included. Uh, right. Yeah, right. yeah. I, I, yeah I, I, we'll I, take a look at it. I mean, it's yeah. To, to I, my knowledge, it was just the way the sur I guess the, sur what, the surveyors did the description. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the surveyors did the description. I understand. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree with you, Phil. Yeah, you know. I'm just trying so to understand. So then, should we hold up on passing this tonight until we find out exactly what they mean? The water and sewer district is. Well, we can tell you what the water and sewer district is. It's the That's 154. 154 right? That's, That's the 154. Right. It's all the, the other part. part. Right. All the rest is Everything excluded. else, you can actually probably right. erase. Well, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. So then, yeah. So the wine tool, so I would eat it out. Well, it's all. before you do that, you better find out why that was. Someone went through great pains of. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't do well. it. I, I can't respond. Well, okay. Okay. part of, because we're the, the way the existing lots are now, the We'll call the Colt and the Acton piece, or the Colt uh -huh. and the. Oh, let me see the correct terms, please. And the Colt and the New York Farms piece. Mm -hmm. When it's all said and done, those property lines get shifted around. Mm -hmm. So this basically, the white part is the end product of either of, right. of, the, of the subdivision. Right. So sure. you're going to have so this. All well, the rest should be excluded. Well, it's still we describe we describe the total holdings. And then they excluded the portion because it, it's not the maps aren't filed. It's mm -hmm. lots are created. So they're saying of the hundred two hundred and fifty four acres, which is the total of uh, the New York Farms LLC and the Colt Estate, a hundred, about a hundred of that is getting excluded is excluded from the district. Right. But the way they have it is ninety six are going to be excluded yeah. and six are going to be excluded. Yeah. Right. That's always my question. Right. Then, well, what's the difference? difference? Yes, yeah. I know that. Yeah, no, no, I understand. I, I, if they're all excluded, yeah. they're excluded. Right. We don't care. Yeah. You know, so okay. So so just want to make sure there's nothing, nothing do in there. Yeah. No, we don't understand. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. So what do you, what do you got, then? <laughs> this will clear it up. Oh, yeah. well, okay. Now, or formally. Formally, we are formally. Right. That's why. Okay. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. Okay. In fact, look at the. You see, this. What's happened is somebody. Gratuitously put this note on this map. The area has to be excluded from the sewer district. Yeah, that's not the parcel. The parcel is the is the a square more or less. See what, what it is. You got an error on this map, and the map is not part of the filing. It's just for descriptive purposes for yourself. What you have here is you see where the note reflects this is being accepted out, which yeah. is causing the confusion here. Right. That note should not appear there. 
That mm -hmm. note should refer to this pair, this parcel right here. You see the square one? A square one. Okay. Which, okay. which is part of the white area, which if you follow, the lines have been moved, etc. Okay. What happens on these things, and again, this is just for uh, example uh -huh. purposes, there's been so many changes and yeah. revisions over the years that I'm sure you appreciate. You use a basic template and then you go forward. Yeah. And sometimes well, these things start. This is the up. attorney for the town. Yeah. Can we proceed on with this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Because you know it's and, funny. And will th this will all be corrected. Yeah. And, and this map it will actually be excerpted. This won't even well, be that's, that's what I'm making. Just so that the map actually is correct, because as right. Mr. Canarino said that hatched area, that note refers to the entire hatched area. Correct. The output parcel they're talking about though is that is the square, square. square. Right. Which is currently owned by New York Farms, but will be taken out of that. Correct. Can we pull that? Well, that's going to the coax, is it? Well, it's going no, to the it's going to the lot, the yeah. ag lot. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And, but that's when the map gets the, the, that lot doesn't exist now. So that's why it's excluded from. But when the map is filed, the lot is will be created. And, yeah. and just so important, we're comfort level. This this was proved the description right. against the boundary, right. and that is correct. Okay. Okay. Well, meaning it's just that so there are three three corrections on this. Resolution then. the or second second seven yeah and then the February and May those are 2011 2011 yeah and that's it oh, oh. and then and water sewer the water right sewer and water district sewer, sewer and water, water district, district both in the title and in the description okay. yeah. yeah they will be correct because that is filed the right. maps are not recorded okay. okay any other questions or concerns all right uh, Madam Clerk can we have a roll call vote please. Councilman Cantorino? Aye. Councilman Lyons? Aye. Councilman Capella? Aye. Supervisor Bloomfield? Aye. Motion carries. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, well, in terms of filing, it's going to be required that each of you sign. I know that. But if you notice, because we're going to modify it, uh, I can have you sign this now, knowing the modifications appear on separate we'll pages. We'll be here to sign it, unless one of us. Yeah. Uh, you can do it at a later time. I trust. Uh, I just I got to get it within ten days, though. I have to record it. So, so we're going to do this tomorrow. Is that what you're saying? We'll do it tonight. <laughs> I'll be here tonight. I mean, I, well, we'll do it tonight. Right we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Crank the offices up. Right. Right. No. We'll finish the meeting and then okay. do that. Uh, yeah. We'll sign it right now. We just don't give it to you until you finish right. it. Right. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can sign it. Yeah. We just don't give it to them. Yeah. That's also possible. Right. Yeah. I prime my last That's why I just. Yeah. It's right. Here. Yeah. Right. Just, just another way of just so that I feel a little bit more comfortable. Whatever the needs and boundaries, we'll call it 150 right. Well, what another way of saying this in this water and sewer district, the maximum amount of hookups that could take place is 75. That was going to be one of the questions. That's correct. Right. Yeah. Those other lots are big enough to have their own. But they're not included. Well, they're not well, included. They are, they're individual well and separate. Yeah, I'm not even in that's what I meant. They're they're not, they're not, no matter what happens, because, you know, I, I didn't have this problem, but there was a problem with the original Hamilton Park, where there were lots and then there were additional lots. Oh, you're so, right, you know, yeah. That whole uh, well, situation. I just wanted to make sure 75 is I, I yeah, that's, what the, that's what the village is agreed to. And now, if they want to later on, if there's something that we're all the village board and the town board will have to deal with that. Yeah, if there was going to be more, we would. You, you, if you really look at even more extensive is the condition, the, right. the, the, the final approval of the subdivision. And I can assure you that there are just not suspenders, but there's belts, there's rivets, and everything else to prevent any further development of this yeah. parcel. Yeah, yeah. It can't happen. It really can't, can't happen. No, okay. but I, I was, that was going to be one of my questions, George, but when they encompass the white part, and that is the subdivision part, and that's all that was approved on our map, that's all they can do. So right. I felt comfortable. Right. Right. Give it to you again, just as that's an aside. How many conditions did you have on your final approval? Uh, the final one was 48. Okay. I mean, that was, there was conditions placed on the approval by the planning board. I mean, it, this has been extensively reviewed. Oh, okay. We know. Now, are we I'm done with resolutions the for New York Farms here, or we still have to? No, we're done. We're done. Okay. I we're would not. like to have that resolution okay. signed, though, so I don't have to come back and change. I just, no, I just bring it up. I just okay. had a general, a general question that we discussed. I think you're going to have like different that. originals, aren't you? And you won't have original signatures on your new originals. No, I'm going to have one original. There's only one. Which will be changed. No. Okay. Because, yeah, if you follow, if you're going to see here, the page where the changes occur are not on the single page. 
Oh, so you're going to get a blank signature page. And I'm going to add in your description. You want. Want. I got it. <laughs> right, bring, bring it, it on. Bring it on. Yeah, we'll okay. sign it first. <laughs> so I don't want to see this on tape or hear this recorded, but you hear all your life. Don't sign anything to your attorney. Sees it. You take it to your attorney. Oh. That's right. Sign me blank. I'll take care. Oh. <laughs> I need that two pieces. Uh, correct. Yeah. See, Joe, in all fairness, I did not draft this. This is not my resolution, so I'm, you know, I apologize for any misspellings. It wasn't me. Uh, you, you disclaim everything. <laughs> hey, you have to. It's like, trust me, I'm from the factory. I know. My parents are the business. I'm from the factory. Yeah. 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 All yeah. the people that understand. <laughs> yes, you do. I, I was going to rather disrupt the meeting. I was going to get you to sign those separately. I, I still have a yeah. question, I think, because we. we you guys were not here on Monday, and, and uh, we discussed this at great length, but it's, it's still yeah. kind of troublesome to me. And that is specifically, I guess I'm most troubled about parcel A, 72 acres. You guys being the grantor, we being the grantee for your conservation easement. There's going to come a time where New York Farms leaves, they're gone. So the grantor becomes the HOA. Okay. So in in the, in the process that you come through with the things, there is going to be an HOA that's yeah. created. Just, let me just because if you remember a couple of years ago we were before this board uh, for a petition for a formation of a drainage district. Right. And the board decided not to Okay, we'll go forward with that. So our alternative to that was we had to form a, a homeowners association. Okay, because uh, they're going to own. Oh, and George, most I think all of the drainage basins are actually in uh, open space A. They're not included in the open space calculation, but they physically are in that lot. Uh, and then what we did is one of the things we approved tonight is an easement over those facilities that the county has the right, not the obligation, right, to access to. to that. So they're going to own that, and they're also going to own the drainage facilities and be responsible for maintaining those. Uh, and then there's a little central green, a little place in old green place. So the taxes, the homeowners association will be responsible for the taxes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, what I'd like to do is jump down to new business. I just got one comment. Where? Since we're since we're over, I just want to say good luck to these guys. All right. It is done for now. It's in your hands. So I'll give a couple. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. And, but by the way, what is, what is your schedule? I mean, I know you. It's well, we're going to go as quickly as we can now. We said we've got to get our plans back over to the health department. Yeah. Um, and if you don't mind, I'd like to use your services to make a few calls to some people and maybe help push that through. Okay. Now, with all that being said and the punch list you got for the final and all of when do you think you'll start working on this truck? Our goal is to try and start in the fall again. We have uh, the Indiana back this year there, so right. we can't finish our tree plant until after September 30th. October 1st. So we're looking to start getting back in there and starting that. Worst case, it would be in the spring. Okay. Very good. Good. Well, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank, good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. So, Kevin, we're going to jump down to you on the. Uh, your, uh, Central Capital Projects list we've got here. What's the book, I just handed them a copy of what Trish or yeah, Trish emailed me. I almost took a look. Go ahead. So we all we all have a copy of this. Uh, uh, Kevin, I think that's yeah. We have. We have it. In fact, if you don't have it, if you, have it, if you don't have it with you, I've got another copy. No, I've got it with me. I just okay. got some notes on it. Okay. Um, right, these are capital projects at the uh, four parks. Right. That are either in progress or they're undefined at how we're going to accomplish that. Um, over Craigville Park, the town park, well, let me start off with Craigville. The first thing we have to do is we got to change the sign. For oh, sure, that's good to be. We have, a new, right. we have a new name yeah. for the park, yeah. so um, we're we're gonna you know try to get some signage, and right. uh, we'll have to get you guys to approve right. some sort of uh, symbol that will carry going forward. 
you know? Yeah. Okay. And then, by the way, the signages are going to be probably we're looking at a, a budget of a, a couple of thousand dollars to get them done properly. Okay. Um, right. The big thing in Craigville right now is drainage in the left field of the major field. That's the first field you come in that has the lights for the 12-year-olds. You know, the kids that are just getting there. You know, 10 to 12-year-olds. Um, we have a problem in left field um, that it really started to come into play when they finished the uh, cemetery or the, uh, far, the veterans uh, park and all of a sudden left field is mired in, in, in a lot more groundwater and it's not coming off the road, we believe it's coming underneath, you're on a shale bed, you're draining down off that hillside into the swamp. We, um, we have an idea how to fix, the reason I fix that because you know back then uh, when Honey Bernstein was a supervisor with a grant and they dug out there and put in uh, uh, perforated pipe to drain all the, the center of the, the park to the stream. And that's it's from, it's from this, that, that pipe, that, yeah. that 16 inch barrel runs from the second entrance Okay. Yeah. Straight across the middle of the park, the back of this girl's softball field, in between right. the majors field, and comes out by the garage where we store the equipment. But but they but they but they did though. Remember Kevin when they when Mark Warren was the senior was here, they went out and dug ditches in the field itself and put in gravel and perforated pipe wherever the, so the groundwater would come up, it would siphon off and go to that. Uh, it would go to the main, the main barrel. Yeah. yeah, it was back in 2003, four somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah, Betsy um, Dunleavy. Dunleavy was uh, was spearheading that. Yeah. Know, and she got the body. And, right. Uh, and, would, and, and, and so, do we, need can, more we tie, be, can we tie to that is the question? Right. I, first of all, I want to compliment you. Roderick Knoll has yeah. been a blessing. Good, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, he's a, there's, there's a team player. Yeah, so we got on board, um, and we're working with them. Um, so we're com There has been his, he has looked at it, and Broderick is 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 is, is going to attempt to okay. handle this with us in in, Ju in July. You know, when he gets when he gets free, he's a right. busy right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's got an idea. Okay. It may not be tying into that main brown. We might hit the ditch where the cattails are. Okay. But we'll leave that up to Broderick and his engineer. Okay, very good. Um, so that's your one of your top priorities. Is it, I mean, and in looking at all these, yeah. are, are these in a priority uh, sequence? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, the drainage and resurfacing on Castlefield. Um, well, that's the back field. Is that the pony? I call it the pony league field. The yes. senior field. That's the senior field. Yes. Okay, we're having, again, on the on the mountainside, leaning into the hill, which you get on the left field. Yeah, you know we have attempted a few things over the years. It's just not getting there. We don't own, we don't own that property. That the hill comes down. Right. We dug. We did did we on the parking lot. So we did put a. I mean, uh, we did put. Yeah, well, we did put a. Uh, we did put a, a drainage pitch up there. We that you know, the problem. object is that the drain. If you're up this high yeah. and you put a ditch down three feet, but the field's down Another eight three feet, feet, eight feet, you're, you're not going to. As long as it's down one yeah. foot, it's going to get. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. I go out there and look at it all the time. We knew that problem. That problem would exist when we built that. It w yeah. was not palatable, but they needed the field. So we just went ahead and built it. He yeah. said, uh, I remember Myron and I stood out there and it was like, oh my God, with the engineer. We knew it was going to be a problem. Okay. And so so, so, so that's an undefined so, uh, scope uh, right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so we're really? I'll bring up things here for yeah. 2013, really, right? I mean, we're ready to you now just yeah. so you know what was going on. Perfect. We'll talk to, again, right. Broder will have some input here, uh, you know, here, and maybe a town engineer. Okay. Um, drainage on the soccer fields. Uh, when you come in the second entrance, obviously we have our two main soccer fields. Um, we're in phase one of this project now, which has been uh, soccer has come up with uh, ten thousand dollars, and uh, our the, you know the Ocean Parks and Recreation has come up with ten thousand dollars, and we're doing phase one, which is looping. 
two foot off the outside barriers, the lines of the field with drainage pipe. That we had a, a South Phoenix construction company was the low bidder. We didn't go for the full uh, drainage system yet because we're going to have to raise these fields up again and put a new top coat on them eventually because we're getting, you know, there's settlement because of the amount of water and so we're doing just the at perimeter drains now and those perimeter drains uh, will do both fields uh, and it's, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, close to 600 feet of uh, perimeter pipe for each one. Okay, so we'll loop the whole thing, we'll get them to the drainage. When we, and phase, that's phase one and that's being accomplished as we speak right now, okay? Uh, they, we got the insurance certificate from the other day and Sunset Constructions in there, George, and he, he start. Uh, phase two, which is the laterals, if everybody understands the laterals into the center of the field, will be accomplished when we know we have enough money between soccer and and um, in our budget to get the necessary topsoil and and materials to raise these fields up 12 inches. Then we put those lateral pipes in, and they'll go back to the perimeters, and then they'll all drain out. Do the uh, when, we, when we do that or when it's done, how long will those fields have to be out of service? Well, we're, we 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 don't. What we're going to do is we're going to close them down for fall. The perimeter drains that we're doing now are not closing the fields. Right. Uh, Soccer has put some money away and in their budget that they know in the coming 18 month period they're going to have to go out and rent space. Okay? And it's probably going to be over here at the new facility. At that point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, they have that in, in their, but they're working that into their budget so that when we do the fields and the laterals, we can be down. We'd like to get it all through spring, but really the critical time would be when soccer has their fall season, which is their main season. We're going to have to be shut down for one of those seasons in the coming year. Yeah. Okay. It's not going to be 2012. Right now, it looks like it'll be 2013. But the people understand, though, that when this 12 inches is put on, put the laterals in, they'll have to be out of service for some period of time to grow the grass. Well, that's amazing. It's the right yeah. You guys have been around a while. You understand. Yeah, oh, I do. We have. We have. Apparently, we don't understand, but if we have an alternate for them to go, we have. Yeah. For them to play, right. they're fine with it. Okay. And we, I think soccer's done a good job of putting that together. Very good. The plan. Okay. Um, all right, we have uh, the we have the walkway that runs from the playground by the pavilion when you cross over the bridge. Right. Once you get out of the playground area, that path is pretty much taking a shot. Yeah. Uh, and so there's a blacktop issue over there, and some uh, we'd like to probably rip it and and re blacktop it would be the proper way to do it. Um, and those that's one of those blacktop projects which we'll have to talk with the the town about. It's undefined right now how we're going to okay. accomplish that. Is that a, that's not a great big no. project, though, is it? Long, no, it's, 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 it, it's long, but it's about 30, 32 inches wide yeah, to 36 nice inches wide, this pathway, yeah. and it runs, uh, I think, about 600 and... Oh, is that long? Yeah, it's long. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the length of two football fields. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's maybe, one, maybe 450 to 600. Yeah. Yeah. Just going on. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This, this, the soccer field. Okay. So, so uh, that, that's one. Okay. Uh, then the next one, obviously, at the bottom is the paved the driveway in the parking lot. We got the town had done one half of that parking lot years ago, and depending on how pricing goes and things go, Broderick's got that on his radar, and we can, you know, if he can do a strip, he'll do a strip. You yeah. know, and right. we'll try to do that as we go along. Most of it we've been doing is, you know, patching. And there's some areas that it's more than a patch because it's a real wide area. Last year, me and Broderick measured it off to see if we could do it as a capital improvement uh, project. And it, that was just the front parking lot, not the... <laughs> right, not the back. And, and yeah, the front, believe it or not, <laughs> quite large. But we fixed it before we had you had the bicycle race. Yes. All right. But is that the same area you're talking about? No, we're talking about the one closer to the pavilion. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean... 
we've had a discussion. Right now, there is no talk of paving any of those back parking lines. The object is to just get more riprap in there, maybe raise them up as we raise things up. Mm -hmm. They serve for drainage. Right. Yeah. Okay? So, but we're already black tunneled in where we're at yeah, by the so pavilion. So we have to really finish that off. And we've looked at our own, within our own budget, George has talked about maybe we buy the material and if the town gets a, a shot or an opportunity, put it in. They'll put it in. Yeah. Okay? Well, yeah. we're talking about black cop and recreation and full recreation. Just in the back of your mind, think about a basketball court. At, at Craigville? At Craigville. I, I've been approached by that, and I know that's a real need. Mm -hmm. They have the one on the Erie Street, but it's a problem. A lot of the older kids are always there. So, uh, not for now, I'm just telling you, please think about that. Somewhere. But we have, just so you know, okay. there's the basketball court right there in the corner of Hamiltonian. I know. I don't know. But that's on Hamilton. That's in that, that No, but I just, I, I never knew who owned that. Who yeah. owns that? Yeah. Well, we own it. Yeah. But that's, 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 that, 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 that's, uh, Gamble. at Craigville, yeah. that's, uh, Ganley. Yeah. And, and we've done some, we've rehabbed Ganley pretty well, and we had a nice Boy Scout project out there that, Basketball courts, courts functional. The pavilion out yeah. there is functional. It's, it was a real nice job. Right. Not, the kid did not for his, really uh, another Eagle Scout project. I pushed yeah. probably three Eagle Scout projects through, and about the one, and, and it seems like I have one every year. Yeah. I have know. a question for you. This, yeah. is, this is completely since you brought up basketball. Yeah. I'm going to bring up something else. There are some gentlemen in our my our club, our Italian American Association. They always talked about building a bocce ball court out there. If the club was willing to pay for everything and do it, would the, who do we have to get permission to do that? I just forgot. Bring it out now. I don't know. I'm, I'm right. for right. 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 <laughs> Well, I, no, I'm just I'm bringing it up. What, 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 what you what you look at for a bocce? Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, they I, do I, it all. I don't think you'd have. Uh, you know Al Ferrante and all those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you'd have any problem with yeah. us no, no, going there. We had we had old horseshoe pits that they put out. A oh. group put out for years, and we had to finally demolish some of them. They got a little uh, uh, outdated, and and you know they weren't being used, so they were a lot, little bit of liability. But the boxing courts really some two by sixes, and you stand them up right. and build yourself. Yeah. Your well, if you box. really want a nice one, which it's, two by sixes can't hold them. The force of some of these guys when they get mad. <laughs> no. Anyway, I just asked you a question. Yeah, we we can work with you. We can uh, work with you right. on that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Now we can, we're off right now. Now, now, now that's, I'd like to tell us to say this though that the, yeah you talked about Broderick and the Broderick is of the mind that he'd like to be involved in all this. He thinks it's a new new way of looking at business. So uh, it used to be that. You would come to this board, we would do this, do that, but he, he'd like to be the daily person you talk to, plan with such that, but he'll be doing a lot of this versus coming here most of the time. Now, we'll fund it, of course, but, but he'll be the one, who, if he can do it, we'll put it on his schedule to go do. Understood. Yeah. I think that George wanted me to bring, just so you guys know. Oh, no, that's what we asked for. It. No, no, we asked for it. Absolutely. And, 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 and we're very, and I can't, like I said, we're out of breath of fresh air. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. me and Brock, we had long conversations on this for, for a couple of months, off and on, and he's got to buy into this. It is our recreation. It's a whole different attitude and so forth. Uh, it used to be hard before, I'll be quite honest, because it was always last minute we hear about doing some black tops and so forth, and you know, you, it was the end of the fall, uh, you know, the beginning of the fall, right. and so forth, it didn't work out. But now with Broderick, with Broderick having a buy-in on it, we know it's happening, we know what you have to prepare for, so it's a lot easier. And, yeah. and, and you're right, he's a wonderful guy to work with. Yeah, but he also, if you go out to his office, he's got a, three boards. He lists and priorities of what he's going to be working on and when, and and I watch those boards and as he achieves one, of course he races it off, puts another one in its place. So I think that if he says like he's going to be there in July on the drainage, he'll be there in July. Sure yeah. enough. And, and, and the other thing, and you know what? I'm not going to push him. To tell you the truth, we're not here to push him. We can see that he's got 
He pushes him. You know, there's a there's a method to the madness here. Yeah. He knows exactly what he's trying yeah. to lay out. And we're we're on the staff. You know that based on all the cuts and so forth. So we're trying to maximize everything we can do. So we work the backlog. Yeah, we're not we're not under staff. We work the backlog. I'm, I'm, Listen, I, I just said it the way it is based on what used road. to have. Yeah. I'm not a politician. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Move on. Uh, let's go move on. <laughs> Salesian Park. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, there's an RFP you gentlemen have drafted yeah. for the, the demolition of the school building. We're, we're going to discuss that with the joint village. Now, you need to understand we we don't, our fund A, which would, we're, we're broke. And I don't know what, but we might exercise that RFP just to find out what it will cost us to do. But that's for the two boards to, uh, to... And we're going to be discussing, discussing that. that. That's what we're Because, uh, you know, we're certain we were anxious to get that building down. But it's, uh, but we, at least we got the RFP now. We need people to bid on it. Right. right. Okay. And, you know, uh, we'd love to see some price, you know, well, price it. I price yeah, things right. I, every day. Yeah. Uh, my pricing services are free. Yeah. So right. My hit, what's my hit ratio? Maybe 10 or 12 percent, you know, in today's economy, and that's yeah. how it is. Yeah. I would love to see some pricing uh, on what the, uh, what the demolition is. And, right. Uh, and we'll take it from there. Good. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's one of the priorities. Yeah. It is a priority. We just got to figure out we'll move in it and exercise it. Okay. Good. Where are uh, built? I, we need to, yep. we have one. Uh, we have one f need right now of the field at Solution. We'd like to put some sort of field there. And so the other discussion would be that active passive part issue that we would ask that the town and village address together. I believe we have uh, enough interest from football and soccer to put something together to, to find ourselves an area, as I said to George, I need a, we'd love to clear an area about 400 feet long by 250 foot wide. Just get yourself another well-drained sloped field. You could do football or soccer on it, and I would love to see soil sample out there because I can see the one area next to uh, which would be on the southeast corner of the park, which would be next to the uh, cemetery, the Solution Cemetery. It's an old farm field. It would be interesting to see if you were able to check the soil samples there. You might even have enough topsoil. Is that was a, is that, there was a farmhouse back there. Yeah. There was a field in that front. Yeah. yeah. There was, there was, a, was yeah. a field in there. I played on it. I'd be yeah. Yeah. It was a nice field. Yes, there was a nice field. Yeah. Okay. No, so in fact, you know, to be aware though, you know, they, they yeah. someone planted trees right in the middle of it now. Yeah. Right. Which, they're yeah. not big, but they're yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a great, that was a great, a great fact, field. You talk about drainage, that that's place fun. was amazing. When I was a boy, if we had a flood or a rain out elsewhere, you could go yeah. to Salesian and play, because yeah. the drainage was so good. Yeah. Well, the people I used to run from the to top the top pavilion top there, and then they used to go back to the field and play baseball. Well, That's camp. how I knew about it. They had the camp was there. Yeah. They had the camp. My son went to camp there. Right. They had the pavilion, the field, Correct. the pond. The they swimming. had boats in the Absolutely. pond. Absolutely. It was a great, great it facility. Was. It yes, really it was. was. Yes, it was. Yeah. And, and, that, and we'll get to that. That's the next thing. On. We have the recreation okay. field. Well, look, but I think what we can do is okay. both of those items, the demolition of the school building and the past versus active parks, we, those are two items that we can talk at, at our, and it probably will be in July when we have this joint mm -hmm. meeting. With yeah. the and I would ask you to put that on the menu right. you know, yeah. and have that, and have that discussion. Right. Look, we've had people come to us, even the school has come to us about, and that example, I think, even the school has come to us um, about running track cross country and putting the trail having the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts put a trail for that park and using that as part of the cross-country track meet. And I thought that was an interesting proposal, you know, that they came up with that. It would be a nice area to, to run cross-country. I was like, really? You know? Yes. And 
but yeah. the more I thought about it, it made yes. sense. Oh, yeah. But would they start the race there, or would they have to cross the highway, the road? I, I got to believe that they would they, would, they would end up on some road work. And I, I got to believe that they, they could end up on Craigville. Yeah. They could start a solution, end up on Craigville, and end up coming home through the main gate. You know? Um, um, I was, uh, you know, it was an interesting concept. So, okay. But, so, you know, uh, making it into a more active part, giving us a little more... Um, the other thing was an aerator for the pond. Yeah, that's a good idea. We've, uh, you know, that system is a little more expensive than what we thought. Right. We did uh, go to a non-licensed base um, uh, solution, uh, a, a, a compound used for cleaning the pond, trying to get some of the algae out. Right. Uh, we didn't get into the heavier stuff where we need the DEC permit right. or any of that. We just we went to a pond company and they had a bucket of tobacco bucket worth of something that we could try and read the technology. And we're attempting that now. Wow. Okay? Yeah, it um, looked pretty bad. I went out the other day. I was there yesterday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty scummy. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty scummy. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, but we need, but we also need an aerator. Can, by the way, can we use yeah. copper sulfate these days? Whoops. Or is that outlawed? That was good. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, no, it's... Copper sulfate is, is on was on the, in this booklet. Yes, copper sulfate is still out there. Though. Okay, because wow. that works well. I thought you could. I I'm asking our director. It works well. I'm asking our director Trish. <laughs> you know, uh, right? Uh, Trish Ray, uh, Trish Sherlock. Right. She is. Uh, you know, the question is, do we want to go to get the licensing from sure. the DEC? And and she's going to look into what that requires. Okay. I've gotten it up in Yankee Lake and so. Pond on the hill above me, and it was always we always used copper sulfate. Well, it worked great. Environmental protection will let you use. They might have you use some of these other compounds, okay. and right. we we've seen it. It's, it's uh, great. Oh, it's yeah, they're unbelievable. What's out there? Man. Absolutely. What, do you know what an area would cost? We priced that one. We were looking at, at, at in the neighborhood of a, of a twelve thousand dollar number to okay. get some uh, to get it done. What we thought. That pond is pretty much, whoever built the yeah. pond said, well, let's take an acre, right. a square right. acre, and make ourselves a pond. That's what, right. that pond is a square acre. Yeah. 200 feet, 240 feet by 240 feet. Okay. You know, How much power do those things take, too? They're pretty, pretty fair sized motors? Yeah, yes. Well, well, you can get them with, you know, a combination units, and you go, in cycles, so you right, burn right, one, sure. and then you go to the other, and you right, come back, yeah. and they'll run in two-hour cycles. Okay. It's going to be that bad. I, wow. I, you know, I, what are we going to run, run off a of 15 amp uh, breaker? Breaker is another yeah. question, but okay. I don't believe I have to get to 220 volts. Right. Still, okay. we're in the 120 volt range. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's something on our radar. Good. We haven't we haven't fully defined that yet, and we'll okay. keep you abreast of that. Uh, we're renovating the walkways in the past. Is this around the pond, or which, where are you talking about? Well, that's all over the park. You know, there was, uh, when we originally did the parks, right. uh, they put down a, uh, a, a granular-based, uh, right. you know, what you use for grading, really. You know, yeah. Some black, the black, the, the chip got the black top, you know. Right. And uh, so we have weeds come through and things, and, and there might be some areas that we we need to maybe black top them again, because they were black top before, but we also are doing heavy weeding. I, can I can you use a Roundup or something to spray all that? We cannot. We because cannot. of the park? Yes. Okay. Unless we have that license, you know, yeah, we yeah. have to, we don't. That's too bad. We can't use that at Craigville, we can't use that at, at Solution. Right. I mean, Judge Sion has yeah. been very helpful to us. He's always got a couple of kids that need a little weeding. We're <laughs> 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 okay. so we service. So we're gonna put two out there next <laughs> next uh, next week, and they'll be okay. you know right. put them a pair of knee pads, and they go around. The only way to do it is really you know yeah. screwdriver. Yep. Yeah. Take it up. Spat the right. bucket. And just put it in. Good. Okay. Um, but right, right, but right, some right. of those paths do need some work. You know? Right. Uh, Paving over at Salesian. 
a big issue right now is the driveway coming in. Yeah. What we did didn't suffice? No. Okay. We we, we got some, uh, we've been working with the library. Okay. Um, as you know, John, when we were on board in the library, yeah. now there's a much better relationship. We're okay. able to cut the grass. I mean, you know, for aesthetic value, remember I was pushing, yeah. I said, I gotta get yeah. it so it all looks even. You yeah. know, right. Sure. Even. Uh, yeah. So we got that, and they're working with us. And then we, you know, it's, it's a right of way, really, that we're yeah. driving over. Yes, yeah, that's right. But they have said, because they have no problem if we need to rehabilitate the road and want a black top, but they'll, they'll, they're fine with that. So that's on our radar screen. Okay. okay. But that patchwork is much better than it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. We yeah. have, uh, but you're talking to Pat. I mean, I'm sure you're talking the roadway right back to where the, where the stone starts, where they... And that's where we'd end, or you're talking about the round the entire loop. I, I know, just get to the loop. Again, just get to the loop. Get to the loop, I, you know, because right. it was black top already. Where it's black top sure. already, you got to go there. Right. But I am definitely in favor where it's not. We have gravity. You're looking at, you're having some regular games with some 20 year old yeah. plus men yeah, exactly. in the middle of the day playing a heavy game of basketball yeah. and what Phil's getting yeah. used to is there you go. you're losing your teenagers and younger they're like whoo this is you can't get in there. I got some six foot five six foot yeah you know. can't play yeah you just cannot play. and so uh, you know we're trying to keep that we you know the service on that's good it might have to again be resurfaced again it was done four years ago but and it's getting a lot of usage but we probably do need to look at some other place to play basketball for some of these, these kids and you know, we'll Perfect. look at that now that you brought that up I'll put that on the radar screen Excellent. doing something over really great book. Okay. Uh, Lions Park. Lions has got a lot of uh, we've been doing a lot of brush removal, tree clearing, that kind of thing. Just try to get the park spruced up. Uh, we, if you remember, we you were with us when we rehabbed the, the, uh, the picnic, uh, the, uh, the fire pit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a nice park. It it's is being used. Uh, you are able to go in there and use it. Uh, you know, we had to make it a little more accessible with the, right. the roadway. We cleaned it up going in so that yes. the police can drive in. You know, I mean, it's because it is one of those parts that's buried back in, and we do have the issue of. Uh, of being, uh, you know, drinking and, and, and after hours stuff when it gets yeah. dark, mm -hmm. uh, and the lights get busted, but we're sort of getting away from that. It's been, been improving yes. over the last couple of years. So we want to stay with, uh, you know, still doing some more brush removal, cleaning the park up a little, opening it up so you can see in it easy enough, yeah. and getting some. Uh, we're going to get some of those uh, picnic tables and refurbish the ones that are busted up and get some new ones in there. Um, so that's that's what we're out there. Yeah, they have, I have one question. Are you gonna? Do you have any intentions of doing the same thing and meeting with the village board and going over this whole list just so they have a flavor? Yes. Okay. We will do that. The reason I'm here, we started with you. George, no, that's fine. George, George, yeah. George is. I have an active member on my on the commission with me from the town. Okay. And we've been a, and uh, we've been a little sleep a little bit with with the, with the village. Uh, a member because there was been a lot going on there. We do a lot. And now we're hoping Brady brings to new light to the table. No, it's just so that everybody has a flavor of what's going on because all of this is, is the town and the village, so we should all feel the same. It's all just trying to make it so we all know where we have to go. Right. Well, one of the confusing factors when I was in front of when Susan Mazel's with here. Is uh, and I never did figure it out, and that is when Craigville Park was built. People said, "Well, that's and that and, and Gangley Park were they're the town, and all the other ones in the village, Bruin Park, and all the others were the village." And then other people said, "No, no, that's not the case." And and so I think that all of these, I mean, although Broderick will probably be the, the main stay for Craigville, but and maybe Mike Nuzzle's will be the one for Erie and Lyons or whatever. But in, but in general, the dollars to support them should come proportionally. And then, and, and anytime you have capital parkland fees, we 
do it jointly. So Absolutely. that's why right. if right. any of these become capital projects, it's a joint thing. So that's why I'm saying well, they should. When the Fresno Park was built, we started the joint recreation. And Kenny's wife was one of the first on there. But that's why we started the joint recreation and pooled everything together. That was Myron's administration when we were there. But, it, but, we, we, but we got away from that, evidently, yeah. through the years. And, and it was out that's a village yeah. and that's, that's town. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and when Susan was there, we began to, no, no, let's look at it as a joint recreation funding gatherer and so forth. So, so, right. so we, George, you and Roy need to be working on that so that yeah. each board has an understanding of that. Otherwise, we'll be parochial about it. So we right. have Bruin the Park. Object. Whatever happens in Bruin Park. Okay, so that was Bruin. I didn't yeah. put any. Because I have no real capital projects after we accomplished okay, good. We repaired yeah. the fence. Right, you right. made a nice looking entranceway <laughs> off the footpath, you know, right. on the right. footpath. Excellent. It looks, looks Bruin looks inviting from it the is. footpath. People come right. in and use yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and new equipment. There's some real equipment in there. We refurbished uh, the pavilion. That's probably going to be a couple years down the road. That yield that'll come up, and that park gets rented. I you know Craigville's yes. a renter. Yes. Bruins a renter. People yeah. want because I got electricity. I got a barbecue pit. People yeah. want yeah. sure. People want to come to them. Now, right. over the course of time, Doug, we have expanded those rental fees uh, dramatically. But I don't know how dramatic in, in terms of the times. Yeah. It's dramatic in terms of where we were and where we're at now, sure. where we're charging, but sure. in the grand scheme of things, to rent a park yeah. with a kitchen and all for a couple hundred bucks. Right. I mean you gotta you know, instead of thirty dollars, I mean right. yeah. It, yeah. it's 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 all relative. Right. It's all relative. We were slow catching up. Yeah. Well you're here, there's a question yeah. Jerry called me the other day about a, the sign. The, you, you got a call about there's going to be a uh, June, June 23rd the scoreboard at 10:30 10, 10, 10 okay to dedicate the scoreboard at, at the boys major school yes yes okay good June 23rd <coughs> at 10:30 parks had a rough time Prisons had a rough time this spring uh, we've had not damaged but you know, teams are averaging probably about five missed games, you know, and trying to make up even to make up some more. It's, 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 you know, we are at the mercy of God. By the way, yeah, that's true. how it is. You know. By the way, who's courting that uh, dedication of this sign? The Little League. Yes. Garden, is his last name. G A R T O N. Yes. Well, he, he's the. Liaison. Liaison person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tommy Quinn and uh, liaison to who? And uh, mm. and Recreation the He's the one who emailed. He emailed and you, but nobody in the town board. I mean, who's he the liaison for? The <coughs> Honda place or the joint recreation? Or no, a little weed. Is the liaison and, and joint rec or? Yeah, Goshen Parks and Recreation. Okay. okay. They're donating that. They're, they donated that board, uh, the uh, uh, tour board from uh, Middletown Honda. Middletown Honda. Middletown Honda. Middletown Honda. Okay. Yeah. okay, well, I you know, Kevin, you. thank you very much for this. And, uh, yeah. I appreciate your time. And by the way, I'm you know, grateful your job you're in out yes. there. You, you, you're the I, man. Talk about right. you. talk. And, and you've got the experience. You do. That's right. the part thank that. You, that uh, and, and you know, I know you're an unsung hero as far as a lot of us are concerned. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you for all your Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All righty. And we will uh, do our best to. Just keep on radar screen. We will certainly do that. Yeah. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah. If Parkland fees come available, yeah. you know, we'll look at this. Yeah. Okay. The next one, Thanks. folks, let's go under old business. Item 4, approve the minutes. Would someone like to make a motion? We approve the minutes of the town board work session on May 21st. And the regular meeting of May 10th and May 24th, 2012. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any additions or corrections to I, the minutes? I already gave those. I type over there and gave the other thing to the board. Okay. For so All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. The next one is under new business. By the way, that we, we just had. Great. We asked for oh, that yeah. list, project list. Excellent. Now we got it. We can. 
we can work off that and, and, uh, and thank goodness for Broderick. He, he truly is doing a great job. Okay, the next item to review and discuss employee dental and vision plan insurance premium increases and authorize the supervisor to sign a contract renewal for the same. Um, these were stapled together, they really shouldn't be. The, the second one is the page is <coughs> the Horizon Dental Plan and the Platinum 12 Vision Plan. You can see the current charges for the the dental plan are eighty dollars and sixty two cents per employee and then and that's per month and then for the it's going up uh, three dollars and twenty two cents the vision plan is uh, costing us today twenty two dollars and ninety three cents and it's going up to twenty three dollars and thirty nine cents and these are effective January first through um, I'm sorry July 1st, 2011 through June 30th of 2012. Now this, these are all, this is, if you go back, the, when we create, we working with CSEA, this, this is provided by the CSEA Employment Benefit Fund, our group, who, who uh, and evidently back in two, June 20th, 1990, the town agreed to get into these and would work through the CSCA Employment Benefit Fund to provide these. So, with that, uh, would someone like to make a motion to authorize the supervisor to sign for these uh, increased uh, insurance premiums? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. The next one is the, uh, you can see the email from Joshua Daub, who is the Associate General Counsel for the Right Risk Management of America. And basically, the as of December 31st, 2011, we have seven tail claims, and they charge us each year $500 to manage each one of those. And that number has been reducing each year since we've been using them. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, they're saying the fees are going to remain the same for this year as it was last year. And then he said, and I've got the agreement to sign. So would someone like to make a motion authorizing the supervisor to sign that agreement with right, right risk management? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. And motion carries. Um, the next to last item is uh, we talked about on Monday the the speed limit changes on uh, Pulaski Highway, which is County Route Six, uh, and Dennis took what we had, and you can see in the, the resolution. Therefore, it be resolved the town board of the town of Goshen does hereby recommend to the county of Orange and the state of New York that the speed limit on roadway in the town of Goshen between Indiana Road and Pumpkin Swamp Road be lowered from 55 miles an hour to 45 miles an hour, and that, by the way, due to farming, and that the speed limit on the roadway in the town of Goshen between Pumpkin Swamp Road and Cross Road be increased from 35 to 45 miles per hour. And that's so that the entire road will be 45 miles an hour in deference to the drivers. And that a traffic signal be installed in the town of Goshen at the intersection of County Road 6 Plasty Highway and Route 17A. Now we can request that of the state. I think that probably will not be approved, but with any of these, we're just making our recommendation and request. Yeah. Would someone like to make a motion in regard to this resolution? That we support the resolution. I that we support. we support this. Yeah. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, one typo. Yeah, I see. Notice that. Yeah. yeah. From. From. It's another yeah. woman's going to be fired. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but all in favor say aye. 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 No. Oh, I need a roll call vote on this evidently. Uh, Madam Clerk, can we have a roll call vote, please, on this? Kathy Hill. Yes. Yeah. 
Councilman Cantorina? Aye. Councilman Lyons? Aye. Councilman Capella? Aye. Supervisor Bloomfield? Aye. Motion mm -hmm. carries. Thank you very much. Are we, uh, should somebody follow up and send a copy of the resolution or a write of some kind of write up to Annie Rabbit so she knows that yeah. we're doing this? This, yeah. this happens automatically. Priscilla manages no, all this. Oh, well, no, that's how it works. Yeah, I apologize. Who was the second on that? I was the second. George. Okay. I'm following. Yes, <coughs> Okay. Would someone like to make a motion that we authorize, in regard to finance, to authorize the supervisor to pay manual accounts payable check runs as of 5-31-2012, amounting to $8,469.05. That should be a point there. And a total funding for accounts payable check run of June 14, 2012, amounting to $293,419.86. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion other than that .05? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're now open for privilege to the floor. Anybody got anything? I do. <laughs> One item. That's your privilege. That's my privilege. Um, <clears throat> I've been out to the Goshen Humane Society and looked at their new addition, dog runs and things that uh, they built with the uh, funding that came from Dr. Shurtop's or, uh, widow. It was left to the Humane Society. It is very, very, very nice. The other thing is I went in twice and each time Volunteers were in there working, cleaning, and taking care of the place. And it looked to be run very well. And, and they really have the animals' uh, well-being in, in, in hand. So uh, my accolades to them. Because I know in the past we've had all the A team and the B team and the arguing back and forth. That seems to have subsided. And I think that uh, the current leadership and the current manager, things are going very, very well. I also asked about that we've contracted with them for the couple of months for the uh, dog control, and that's going very well. So, uh, good for us. Good for them. And, uh, so, I'll leave it at that. Anybody else got anything for privilege of the floor? I, yes. <coughs> when I write my memoirs, Councilman Lyons, I'm just going to be hired to proofread it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good bet. You know, you can't take the school teacher out of him. Certainly was. And and, <laughs> and 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 secondly, are you planning on hanging meat in here? And and thirdly, thirdly, since you were talking about uh, the Craigville Park mm -hmm. joint wreck tonight, on Monday there was there were recollections of Myron. Um, and I just want to point out that that was prior to when we were recording things, and it certainly would have been nice uh, if there had been recordings, if we had at this point recordings uh, of that time, which we don't, uh, but but there will certainly be recordings of this period during which we've been doing it. It would have been entertaining, I can tell you that. <laughs> Each one was a movie. Each one would have been a so movie. So I understand. Itself. Oh, it was wonderful. It's one of those crazy It really was. Oh, Jackass movies? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. 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 I was doing uh, yeah. mm, They were live. Well, yeah, I could tell you that. They used to go out there. It was wonderful. Okay, anything else from the public? The wall. Okay, would some oh, well would someone like to make a motion that we adjourn and go into executive session with the intent not to return to talk about tax search tax surgery status update? And is there anything else we'd like to talk about in the next session? No, that's enough. All in favor, I mean, sorry, would someone like to make a motion? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Motion carried. So many. Folks, thank you very much for coming. My nephew was sorry to call. 20 to 12 left Monday. You guys left with the leader of the The clock was like, oh my God. It was all heritage. It was all heritage. I was that heritage. Well, I walked out of here at 10.30, so. Yeah. No, I.